So, hi, I'm Kayla Hancock. I'm a district leader with CVS, and just like many of you, started their career um, as a cashier slash pharmacy technician with CVS. Got into pharmacy school and became a pharmacy intern, and then stayed on with CVS as a pharmacist. I've worked in three different states, and I most recently got promoted into the California North Bay area, where I oversee 16 pharmacies and retail stores. My name is Marcus. For my role, um, really in this company, is to not only uh, attract talent, but to equip them as well. And with CVS here, we we advocate for well-being. We always continuously bring our our um, hard at work behaviors to what we do. Um, we are very consumer obsessed. Um, we care about career pathways, and um, we're here to introduce our students to talk about that. The pharmacy industry is definitely changing. You know, um, I think it's a great time to speak about how it's changing with COVID. You know, I know that everything happened was unprecedented, but now what pharmacy technicians are able to do is not only um, can you do the immunizations, but you're working a little bit more closely with the patients. It, it became a little bit different, especially with me being a career advisor myself at one point, seeing a lot of different technicians be standard with just you know the mathematical piece of it um, and the bio, bio, biological piece of it. But now, you know, with uh, it, it's almost a, a gift after the curse of COVID is now you're able to actually interact more. You're able to build rapport more. You're able to utilize those soft skills. So um, any anyone interested out there, I would always encourage, um, you know, Make, making sure you're a people's person is, is, is very crucial um, in being a successful technician anywhere. SJVC is a great company. It's a great educational institution. It really teaches you the basics of pharmacology and not only pharmacology, but a lot of different things that cross source with pharmacy or the medical field um, in general. Um, so they really do a great job. I was just on their advisory board um, committee and showing the curriculum. The curriculum is fantastic. It's up to date. It ties right into what you should know for any national certification as a pharmacy technician. They advocate for your state license. Um, it, it gets no better than that. Someone that joins our team, um, they have to put the heart, uh, the patient at the heart of everything they do. Um, so they have to have great customer service skills, be able to talk to patients, um, be empathetic and caring. Um, and then of course, retail is a fast paced environment. Um, so we have to be good at solving problems, thinking, thinking quickly on our feet um, and be able to multitask as well. My advice to anyone looking um, at any pharmacology um, opportunity is to do it. Um, the oppor th these opportunities are, are never dying. Um, people need their medication. People need the help. Um, and doing it with a place, with a company um, that advocates for the people first. Um, so you're going to get a great foundation of learning, you know, filling prescriptions, typing, not only are your basics, but, you know, even beyond that for inventory and advancement. Um, CVS is one place that never discriminates. Uh, we, within that industry, it's completely diverse. I mean, it doesn't matter your skin color, doesn't matter your uh, dialect of, of language. I mean, it's something that it's all needed everywhere and um, it's a great field. So two things to learn more about CVS Health. As far as you know, what we're looking for, you definitely want to go to our CVSHealth.com/careers. Um, You'll be um, a, a plethora of different job openings that you'll see as far as what we're looking for. But another thing that to look for is, you know, what we do as a company and, and how we speak to the community that we serve. So if you go to our CVS Health page and you look up our initiatives. Um, you'll see a lot of different type of um, components of CVS and the business sectors that we do to just be involved um, more uh, with Project Health, with Kidney Care, with our tobacco, Stop Selling Tobacco campaign. So um, just look into that and, and, and you'll learn a lot more about what we do.